This week on Maker Update, I'll take a look back at some of my favorite projects from 2017 and show you a cordless hot glue gun for hot glue on the go. It's Wednesday, I'm Donald Bell, and welcome to the last Maker Update of 2017. In this episode, I'm going to quickly round up some of my favorite projects of the year in no particular order, and as usual, you can find links for all these projects in the show notes. Let's start things off with John Park's Overwatch Lucio Blaster. It was so much fun to watch this build unfold and see John geek out on it. From the 3D print build to the circuit design and all the little modes and extras John packed into it, this is the perfect crossover of cosplay and electronics and the final payoff is undeniably awesome. Next up, LED Eyes by the Ruiz Brothers. Noah and Pedro had so many great projects this year and I feel a little silly highlighting one that doesn't showcase their outstanding 3D design skill, but there's just something about this LED Eyes project that knocked me out. There's no microcontroller, it's just LEDs, some careful wiring, and a coin cell battery, but nothing else this year made me feel more like I was living in the future than seeing Pedro longboarding at night with these on his face. Next, the Psykill by Fuzzy Wobble. This project shows you how to rig up your game console, or anything really, so that it can only work while your exercise bike is in use. It's a cruel but ingenious and arguably very useful way to life hack your way into a healthy exercise habit. The project uses an Arduino, some LEDs, and a relayed power cord to get the job done, plus some super glue to prevent tampering with the system in desperation. It's time for another cool tools review. This time we're taking a look at this 60 watt cordless hot glue gun by Ryobi. I got this for around $35 on Amazon, and if you want to get this exact same one, using the Amazon link in the description helps support my videos and the Cool Tools blog. After resolving to upgrade my annoying little underpowered glue gun recently, I've been buying up a few different options, including the Surebonder Pro 2, which is great, and I've talked about it in a previous video. But when I heard that Ryobi had a cordless glue gun that could take advantage of the 18 volt Ryobi battery packs that I already had around, I had to check it out. This thing takes the bigger half inch style glue sticks. Mine came with three. It has a great molded grip and a satisfying trigger. There's an illuminated on off switch on the side and the tip has a silicone cover on it that really cuts down on the chances of getting burned. The tips are replaceable too so you can swap out any Surebonder style tip if you want to change how glue flows out of this. The two things I love about this, one is that the weight of the battery pack really acts as its own stand. It feels just like using a cordless drill. But more than anything, I love that hot glue can now go anywhere. Instead of bringing work to the hot glue gun, I can now bring this to the work. So if you're working on costumes or upholstery or just working out of the back of your van, it's totally liberating. There are drawbacks, of course. The best case scenario, Ryobi rates the battery pack for about three and a half hours of use, so it's not an all day solution. I also find that this glue gun dribbles more than my other ones, which isn't a big deal, but it makes it a little messier. But the biggest drawback is expense. If you don't already have a Ryobi battery pack and a charger, getting all of this together is around $150, which for me is just a silly amount to pay for a glue gun. But if you already have the battery system at $35 for just the tool, it's been a crazy convenient thing to have around. If you wanna get one for yourself, using the Amazon link in the description helps me out. And remember, you can see thousands of reader recommended tools like this at cool-tools.org. Back to my list of favorite maker projects from 2017, we've got this laser powered lightsaber by Scott McIndoe. It's one thing to have something that looks like a lightsaber, but Scott actually wanted to make a sword with real lasers shooting from it. He 3D printed the hilt, wired in some non-lethal laser pointer modules and shoved a little e-sig vaporizer inside filled with fog fluid to just give the lasers something to bump into. We saw a lot of great projects from Becky Stern this year, but my favorite is this old camera. She hacked to fit a Raspberry Pi computer, a camera module, and a battery. The camera takes a series of photos, stitches them together into an animated GIF, and then uploads it to your Tumblr account by tethering to your phone. Jonatron's 3D printed puppet was my introduction to servo tester boards and some great weathering techniques to give 3D prints a prop quality look. Creating your own animatronic puppet seems like it would be an impossibly complicated project, but there's no code here or project boards. It's just servos hooked up to little manually controlled knobs, making the whole thing much more approachable. 
Finally, what list would be complete without the Flamethrower Skateboard by Mikasaurus? A project so controversially awesome that it's been delisted from Instructables. You can't find it by search anymore, but you can still get to it using the direct link in the description here. Using a fuel pump, lighter fluid, and a spark generator, Mike created a skateboard that leaves a trail of flames behind it. Will it light your shoe on fire? Maybe. Will I make one? Definitely not, but I am glad this thing exists. And that does it for this week's show and for the year. I want to quickly thank Mark and Kevin of Cool Tools for their support. I want to thank Gareth Branwin for all of his tips and encouragement this past year. The Adafruit team, the Instructables team, Maker Media, Jordan Bunker for his help on the kitty car, all of the makers whose projects I featured on the show and all of you watching who've left me a thumbs up or a comment or clicked on a link. Thank you guys. Without you, this show wouldn't exist. I'll see you next year. <laughs>